So, uh, Mohammed Al Adnani, uh, who was allegedly killed uh, yesterday or the day before um, in a strike uh, that may or may not have been conducted by the United States or Russia, was an individual of some seniority within um, Daesh. He was an individual who had been identified as the kind of number two or three, depending on which uh, assessment you're looking at, but clearly was a figure who was very significant in the external operations of the group. Uh, various reporting has covered him as the individual who was responsible for directing the cells who were responsible for the Paris and uh, Brussels attacks, um, as well as being the person who issued a very significant fatwa, uh, religious edict, in September 2014, where he uh, declared, uh, he called on people to launch sort of lone actor style attacks wherever they might be against whatever targets they have in front of them. It's really difficult to judge exactly what kind of an impact this kind of a casualty will have on the organization's day-to-day -day efforts. Usually when you have a sort of significant figure like this within a sort of terrorist network who's removed, there's a kind of immediate sufferer or damage that is done to the organization because they lose the sort of network of contacts and personal relationships that, that individual may have built up. And also it's possible that he had sort of kept information that he hadn't shared with others. Well, that information will now be lost. So there's some sort of loss to the organization within that regard. However, as we've seen historically with groups like this, when figures like this are removed, other people will sort of ascend in the leadership to fill his ranks. And that individual will bring his own personality to the role and his own sort of relationships and his own sort of network of interests and contacts and desires. And that will somewhat change a little bit the nature of the organization. Um, if we look historically, what this has done to other organizations when figures of this regard have been taken out, particularly Al-Qaeda. What it tends to have done is it tends to have sort of shifted the organization slightly, but the overall impetus sort of continues in the direction it had before, with maybe some sort of tactical choices changing. The, the tactic of taking him out in this way, whether it was by the Russians or the Americans, both are claiming it at the moment, um, is a tactic that we've seen uh, groups or governments use for some time. The idea of decapitating an organization um, suggests that if you remove him, maybe the organization around him will dissolve or her. Um, in reality, there have been not that many cases where decapitation has had a sort of uh, a direct impact. There are some that we can point to. And when we look at sort of specific terrorist networks, when a key node is removed, it does have a damaging impact on that sort of network around it. However, um, it's not clear that in many cases it has sort of completely eliminated the organization. Um, however, from a governmental perspective, a Western governmental perspective, this is a strategy that has an impact on the organization's immediate capability um, and also um, is a fairly low risk tactic in terms of eliminating a specific leader like that, um, which will damage the organization and network, even if for a limited time. In some ways, it's kind of one of the uh, few tactics that have been found which are able to have show some demonstrable immediate impact even though it's not clear that they have a sort of long-term effect of eradicating organizations. However having said that um, I think that one of the important notes to remember is that I think a consistent decapitation strategy does have a substantial impact on terrorist networks and organizations. If we look at Al-Qaeda and its ability to project attacks from uh, Pakistan, it's something that's been harmed substantially by the sort of continuing grinding down of its leadership networks in terms of displacing it from that particular area. It hasn't eliminated the group, but it has had a noticeable impact on their ability to project power and attacks.